Hello everybody, welcome to chapter 3. We are going to dive right into chapter 3, section 1, fractions and decimals. We're going to explore some relationships between the two and uh, be able to identify some, some of the interesting patterns that happen and uh, some things, vocabulary you need to be aware of here. So you should have this template in front of you. If you have not yet done so, please put down Whoops, that's today's date. And I don't know that that's the date that you're going to be doing this. I'll leave that blank. You put whatever the date is that you're taking notes here with your name on it. And we will get right into things. Uh, one thing I forgot to put on here, I, I'd like to number the vocabulary here. This is a vocabulary word and that got left off again. But this is a repeating decimal. Okay, so that's the whole vocabulary word phrase is a repeating decimal and uh, simply put it's a decimal whose digits repeat forever on and on and on and on uh, an example might be uh, let's say I had the decimal let's say I divided a couple of numbers and I ended up with I'll pick my favorite nine here let's just say it's point nine repeating on and on and on well, since the 9 is repeating over and over, what we do is we write that whatever the repeating pattern is, we put under a bar. So since the 9 is repeating again and again and again, we would write it like that. All right. Now, it could happen where you have uh, uh, multiple digits repeating. Let's say you had an answer like 1 that came out 0.1818 on your calculator, and it kept going like that. Well, since it's the 1 and the 8 that is repeating, we would write that in this manner. 1, 8, and we'd put them both under a bar, showing that the 1 and the 8 are repeating. And you, you do need to know, be aware of this, and know how to turn something that ends up repeating on your calculator into that, that type of a, uh, notation. And then number 2, if it's not repeating, it could be terminating. Okay, terminating. A terminating decimal is a decimal that ends, or well, stops, or in other words, it terminates. And terminate is basically just another word for end. It stops. Whole numbers are that, like just a regular number like 9. That, uh, that actually is terminating because it stops. It's 9 and there's it doesn't keep going that's a decimal. So, um, but a couple decimals, like like one fourth, is actually equal to twenty five hundredths, which is point two five. So you see that that decimal stops. That's a terminating decimal because it ends. It doesn't repeat like the decimals did up up in the first example. It it could go further than that. Uh, an, another one, one eighth. If you divide that out, one eighth is actually equal to. 125 thousandths, and it ends right there. So those are two examples of terminating decimals. I'm going to add example three just to make my point. Um, any number, such as the number nine, that, that terminates because there's no digits that continue forever and ever. So if it stops, it's terminating. If it repeats the same pattern forever, it's a uh, repeating decimal. Now, if you would, uh, take a look at the little box there, and that's just some information for you that you, you ought to take time to look at. These are some really common fractions that you, you probably should get familiar with, like 1 half is equal to 5 tenths, 0.5. Now, that's terminating right there. That's terminating decimal. 1 third, if you divide that in your calculator, 1 divided by 3, you get that 0.333 repeating in your calculator. So that's how you write it as uh, 3 repeating right there, 1 fourth is 0.25, and on and on and on. Take a moment, look those over there. You don't have to have them memorized, but it, it would be good for you to, to get familiar with them, and it would be good if you did memorize them, but I'm not going to require that. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the back and, and see if we can work through some of this. We probably won't get all the way through, but maybe most of it, and then we'll have maybe one more short video. This says to write each fraction as a decimal. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to write the fraction as a decimal and then use a bar if it's repeating. They want you to do the bar notation. Okay, so writing fractions as decimal, simply put, I'm going to let you go ahead and use calculators to do this. You need to understand how how to make that, um, how, to, how to have the calculator and divide it into uh, decimal form. So basically, you're going to use division here. To do that, that means 3 divided by 5. It's what that is. Number 1 is 3 divided by 5. So let me grab that calculator again. There it is. Just got to pull it up. Okay, so to change that from a fraction, I'm going to go 3 divide 5 equal 6 tenths. It's 0 0.6. So that's not a repeating decimal. So I'm just going to simply say that that is equal to 6 tenths right there. How about number two? Let's try that. Try that on your calculator first and then see if uh, we get the same thing. 5 divide 16. Let's see if it's repeating or terminating. 3.3125. So that would be a terminating decimal there. So jot that down. Number three, that's negative, but that doesn't matter. So let's pull that calculator back there. Three divide 20 equals 0.15. Now it's negative, so make sure you put the negative sign with that, even though we didn't put it in. We know it's negative because the negative sign is right there, and I forgot what that was. Uh, 0.15, negative 0.15. All right, if we did the same thing for 5 eighths, we'd get 0.625. This would be a good place to pause the video and try it on your own and then check to see how you did. Hopefully you did that. And then if you notice on the 2 thirds, look what happened on 2 divide 3. There we'll see it. All right, you got all those 6s and then a 7. Okay. First of all, the reason that is 7 is because your calculator is rounding it off because it knows that this decimal repeats on and on forever. So it went ahead and rounded that one up to 6 even though it does actually continue. The screen isn't large enough to show that it goes on forever. It can't possibly do that. So what we do is we write it with the bar notation 0 0.6 repeating just like that. And then if we did the same thing for number 6, that would work out to be negative 7 tenths or 7.7 7 repeating as well. All right, let's take a look at number 7 and see what it does. It says in one season the New England Patriots converted 16 of 20. They converted 16 of 20 fourth downs. What part of the time did the Patriots convert on fourth down? So they're basically asking you to divide that out and see uh, what's what's the decimal value? How close did they get to 100%, which would be 1. 20 out of 20 would be 1, so they want to know 16 out of 20. So what you're thinking in your head, just like you did up there, you're thinking 16 divided by 20. So put that into your calculator and see what you get. And hopefully, if you put it in right, you get 0.8, or we could call that 80% as well. All right, I'm going to pause it here. That's only about 8. Oh, about nine minutes, so that's not bad. I'm going to stop it right here, and we'll be right back with video two.